There are six or eight shunting trucks and hauling freight. Red and green and brown and blue. They're the really useful crew. All with different roles to play. Round Ted Mashed so far away. Down the hills and round the bends. Thomas and his friends. Gordon and Thomas Gordon is a big blue express engine who lives at a station on the island of Sodor. He has a 462 tender engine with six driving wheels, a small black funnel, a big blue boiler, a blue dome on top, a cab for his driver and fireman to drive him, and a separate tender with the number four on it for his coal. He is a hard-working and busy engine, too. Always pulling express trains prepared to take visitors all over the island. After he goes to the sheds and rests, tank engines like Percy takes his express coaches away and back to the coach yard. Every morning, tank engines bring Gordon's express coaches to the station. Then Gordon arrives at the station early, and after the conductor blows his whistle, Gordon sets off out of the station right on time. Gordon thinks no engine can be faster than him. Every time he passes another engine like James or Henry, he tooted his whistle and tells them to make way for him and the Express. He likes to play tricks on them too, including Thomas, the 060T tank engine. Gordon likes to tease Thomas with his whistle. Move aside, slow coach! Express coming through! One day, Thomas arrived at the station with Annie and Clarabelle. That is, until the moment Gordon came up right behind him with the Express. And you can guess what he's gonna do. Move it or lose it, Thomas! Big engines on the main line only! You can't beat me! <laughs> Gordon has been teasing me far enough! So Thomas thought of how he can get back at Gordon. Just then, Spencer puffed up. He could see that Thomas was cross. What's gone into you, Thomas? Thomas told Spencer about Gordon. Spencer chuckled. <laughs> if you want revenge on Gordon, have I got a plan for you. What is it, Spencer? Spencer whispered something to Thomas. <laughs> Hey, what a great idea! Thanks, Spencer. And with that plan given from him, Spencer chuffed away. The next morning, Gordon couldn't wake up. His crew couldn't make him start. His fire was out and there was not enough steam left. It was nearly time for the express. People were waiting at the station. The coaches were ready, but Gordon hadn't arrived. At last, Gordon started. Oh, the indignity! Oh, the indignity! He fussed into the station where Thomas was there waiting. Where have you been, Lazy Bones? Don't call me Lazy Bones! Thomas began making his plan to teach Gordon a lesson. Almost just before Gordon was buffered up to the coaches, Thomas reversed quietly backward until he was alongside the train. Thomas waited. When all the passengers were on board, the conductor blew his whistle. Gordon blew his whistle. 
and he pumped his pistons ready for action. Now, now for, for that, that plan, plan from, from Spencer. Spencer. With a full steam ahead, Thomas shot forward. He overtook Gordon and raced onto his line. Gordon was surprised to see Thomas puff onto the main line in front of him. Stop, Thomas! Stop! Gordon took off after Thomas. <laughs> Gordon soon caught up with Thomas. His pistons pumped and his boiler bubbled. He blew his whistle. Stop, Thomas, stop! But Thomas didn't stop. He huffed and he puffed and he chuffed faster and faster. Gordon huffed his hardest, but Thomas raced and roared just in front of him. I can puff ahead of Thomas before the next signal. Thomas heard Gordon. Be my guest, Gordon. Thomas switched onto a different track and slammed on his brakes. Gordon was about to overtake Thomas until the signal on his line turned to red. Gordon applied his brakes, but his wheels skidded along the rails. Sparks flew and tracks trembled. Gordon stuck right up to the signal. Then Thomas picked up steam and sped past Gordon and onto his line. Gordon couldn't believe it. Thomas was nearing towards the station at the end of the line. Oh, this is just great. Thomas raced towards the station ahead of Gordon. Gordon was far behind Thomas. He was out of breath. The coaches of the express rattled and clattered behind him. Thomas pulled into the station. He was so happy, he hooted and tooted his whistle with joy and happiness. Thomas had won the race against Gordon. Gordon puffed slowly into the station. He looked exhausted and very embarrassed. The passengers got off the express and walked into the station. A bit hurt still. Gordon was all tired and puffed out. Well, Gordon, <laughs> now you know what speed is all about, don't you? Gordon didn't have any steam left to reply. He had no breath. He decided to back slowly away from the station and have a long, long drink from the water tower. Maybe I shouldn't have to tease Thomas to be so really useful. And Gordon simply went to sleep.